Hello, I found an article on Psychologies Today that I found interesting and I just wanted to share it with you. Hello, my name's Elizabeth Goddard from The Divorce Sanctuary. I'm author of Finding Lily and the A to Z of Emotional Abuse. On this channel, I talk about healing from emotional abuse and divorcing both physically and emotionally from the abuser. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're returning, welcome back and thank you. I found this article on Psychology Today. It's why psychopaths are immune to contagious yawning. It's by Jennifer Goldbeck. I will put the link below in the description box. You can read it for yourself. Just before I read the article, I just want to quickly go over labels and also look at the term psychopath so a label is the definition of it is a small piece of paper or fabric or plastic or a similar material attached to an object and it's giving information about it or it's class a classifying phrase or a name applied to a person or a thing I talk about using labels in my book you might find it useful or helpful at the beginning to identify with someone it might be beneficial at that point with your healing. You might find it helpful to use a label, you might not. It might help you understand the emotions and the trauma that you've experienced or you're experiencing. It might not. This is your journey and only you will know what it feels right for you. And what feels right for you at the time, at this particular moment, because everything changes. In my book, The A to Z of Emotional Abuse, I, I said that I try not to use the labels of narcissist, sociopath or psychopath in the book, but they did appear or they do appear. Firstly, because the personality types can't take responsibility for the untold damage that they cause. In fact, they walk away playing the victim. Secondly, the diagnosis has to come from a mental health professional. And because they don't see anything that's wrong with them or their behaviour, they're not able to see that and seek help. And contrary to common belief, not all psychopaths are killers, but they are con artists due to their calm and charismatic nature. Anything they do is carefully planned in detail. Psychopaths are unable to form emotional attachments or feel empathy for others. They can be very charming However, they are manipulative and can gain the trust of people easily. Although they don't feel emotion, they've learned to mimic it. And they can appear normal to most people. Often psychopaths are educated, have jobs and some have families, whilst others have long term relationships. And some have both. So you're sitting at home watching TV, you yawn, your partner tries to resist but can't and soon he or she yawns too. It's not just in your head, yawning is contagious, not just in humans but in many species. It's even contagious between us and our dogs. Empathy is one of the core psychological factors that leads to catching yawns. A critical point underpinning a new study indicating that psychopaths may be immune to contagious yawns. Psychopathy is defined in part by a lack of empathy. Could this make people with the trait impervious to their peers' yawns? Research at Baylor University had 135 subjects take the Psychopathic Personality Inventory Revised, the PPIR, and then expose them to a contagious yawning experiment. The cold-heartedness part of the psychopathy scale was strongly tied to whether the person yawned. The more cold-hearted a person was, i.e. less empathic, the less likely they were to catch a yawn. A lack of empathy has already been known to relate to immunity to contagious yawning. Studies have shown, for example, that children on the autism spectrum are less likely to catch a yawn. But this is the first study that shows it in psychopathy. Empathy might not be the only trait at play. Psychopaths also exhibit fearlessness 
as a typical trait. The researchers tested their subjects to measure how easily they startled. Psychopaths would startle less. They found that the less likely someone is to startle, the less likely they are to catch a yawn. Of course, this is not a diagnostic tool for psychopathy, but it is an interesting connection showing how these personality traits affect various behaviours in unexpected ways. So if you yawn and your partner never seems to yawn back, reflect for a moment on his or her empathy in other situations and consider if something more serious may be lurking. As I said, this is from an article called Why Psychopaths Are Immune to Contagious Yawning by Jennifer Goldbeck, PhD. If you'd like to find out more about working with me, then you can visit my website. I'll put the link below. Also, I'll put links to both my books, Finding Lily and the A to Z of Emotional Abuse, as well as the links to my free workbooks, Self Care is Vital and Turn Broken Broken into Your Superpower. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love.